hey guys welcome back to the channel today we're going to be working on the uh, case 450 CT my compact track loader I uh, got to replace the alternator on it it's making a howling noise and while I'm in there uh, I'm gonna go ahead and replace the water pump fan bearing housing thermostat idler pulley belt tensioner as well as the belts it's time for all that stuff the things 12 years old and it needs to have all that stuff replaced so where i'm at right now counterweight off the back and it's over there on the jack i've also taken the uh, upper radiator hose off it went from here down to that water neck right down there drained all the fluid out getting ready to take the lower radiator hose off and remove the radiator does the top half keep you from sticking your hands in it.
going to get the pressure washer on it. Pressure wash all that goop out. But also need to take the alternator here, and uh, I feel kind of. I'm hoping. I didn't just waste all my time because this belt is loose and that could have been the, the noise when I do this that's what it sounds like that ringing noise that's what it sounds like the belt slipping and the, the fans making that ringing noise so we'll see this belt's loose too but I did buy all the stuff, so I might as well go ahead and do it. We'll see. Okay, <clears throat> so it's the next day. Uh, pressure washed it yesterday evening after the sun went down a little bit. And uh, turned out pretty good. Got all down in the nooks and crannies. Way on back in there. Washed everything real nice. So, today we're going to start taking it apart. I don't know if you can see that, but cracked up for sure. Not such a good belt. That's not good. So I believe this is the problem right here. Water pump seems to be okay. Fan drive seems good. Ooh, that needs to be replaced. Mm. well I guess that's it this is most likely the culprit here all right so here's all the new stuff we've got a new upper radiator hose and we've got a new lower radiator hose new water pump there's a new fan drive bearing so I don't I don't hear anything so I think I'm going to leave this in rather than replace it and if it ever goes out, I'll already have the bearing, but I eh, probably wouldn't be able to find it. I also have a few other things. Um, a ring seal for the thermostat housing. It's a clip for the fan drive bearing. Thermostat. Ah, the fuel filter. This is the idler filter. You hear that? That's not good. This is not too bad, but it, I feel roughness in it. Well, I'm going to take the alternator off. I'm going to take it and have it rebuilt. Place the thermostat and the thermostat gasket. Also the belts and the hoses. Secondary fuel filter. The primary fuel filter is right there. We're going to replace that too. We're going to replace the oil filter, which is buried way back here. And easier to replace that now than, you know, while everything's back in here. So replace that now. And then we're going to replace the hydraulic filter, which is right here. That's hydraulic filter. I'm going to replace that. And the air filter. I'm just going to go through it, change the oil. And then uh, that's pretty much it. All right, we're back in here taking the, uh, taking the alternator off. That's what the squalling was the belt but it's because this thing's hard to turn i bet looks like it would come right out of there oh there it goes
Okay, so it's been a couple of days since uh, I worked on this last. I'm gonna go ahead and knock it out. I went ahead and put the new, I don't know if you can see it, but went ahead and put the new oil filter on. I filled it up with oil. I just went ahead and screwed it on there. You didn't really need to see that. But uh, I had to wait because I had to order a couple more things. Um, I got a new hydraulic filter, which I think I changed out a few years ago, but while I'm in here, I'm, I might as well just go ahead and replace it. It was like 60, 70 bucks, something like that. But we're gonna replace the water pump and this idler pulley and the thermostat and gaskets. And uh, then we're gonna start buttoning this thing back up. Oh wait, nope, we gotta put a uh, new fuel filter on. It. And then we'll start buttoning this thing back up. in Italy shiny new alternator fresh from the alternator shop where they did the alternator repairs I think I'm gonna fill this old, the new one up with fuel before I put it in. Kind of try to help things out a little bit. Okay, I got it all full up to the top, and I can get it in there without spilling all of it out. There we go. Throw it up in there. There it goes. Come on, there you go. Yeah. Ta da! That was messy. Smell like diesel fuel. Yeah, I think it's a, I think it's primed up enough. Somebody had this off before. There's an out right there. I don't know if you see it. Put the old belts back on. The new, the new belts that I bought at the auto parts store didn't fit. And I'm not going back and forth and back and forth. I'll just get on the case website and order the belt. And then when they come in, um, I got a job to do in a couple of days and they're not gonna be here in a couple of days. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'll just put everything back on and I'm positive these belts will be fine to run for a few more days till I finish this job. But I gotta take it back apart in a week or so. I get to check my work, see how good a job I did. Yeah, I don't know if you can see there's tight the bolt to tighten it up is right here.
No. Really. Okay. Uh, these are all, you know, case genuine parts, by the way, that I'm putting on here. There's nothing after. The only thing aftermarket that's actually going on this is going to be the um, the hydraulic oil filter, and and the only reason is that it's uh, now it's out of stock. But he had one. He says it's a good quality. I believe him. I don't have a reason not to. There we go. That's straight. And it's another genuine, you know, case performance part, or case genuine part. Put this on. That's good. All right, so now we're gonna put the radiator in and how that works is there's hinge here and here, it slides and hinges in there. There's a couple of clips. Then you hold it up, push it up and it latches here. And it just lays back you know, like that these clips go in here and then it and it latches in just like that Come on. 